everyone. Uh, today I'm going to make a pretty simple tutorial. Um, I went online looking looking up trying to find how to make transparent text but with a drop shadow. Um, I couldn't find anything so I kind of did um, I don't know, a bit of testing and I, and I figured out a way that's really simple and I just wanted to share it with uh, anyone who wants to, to learn how to do it. So basically, this is the end result. Um, you know, you're, if you change your background color to anything, the text will be transparent, and you'll just have that drop shadow there. Um, so first of all, just open up a document, um, and just pick any type of font that you want, any color. It really doesn't matter. Um, and type in whatever you like alright so here's what I have to start with next we're going to use control and click on this box right here for the layer so you have a selection of your text and then make another layer you can drag it below keep it on top it doesn't matter at this point um, I like to make my drop shadow black for this one. So just go ahead and fill that in. Obviously you can't see it, it's below the original layer. But I'm going to press Ctrl D to deselect. And, you know, however you want your drop shadow to look. So if you want it pretty thick, you can do something like that. And if you want barely a little line, you can do that. Um, let's say I want a pretty thick one. So go ahead and do that. Now, since this layer is actually a little offset from the original text layer, what you can do is extremely simple. Just control click on this layer again. So it'll have that selection. And then you'll actually go down to your other layer with the drop shadow on it and press delete and that'll actually delete um, a selection from the drop shadow okay so now you can make another layer and you know whatever background color you want for your image or whatever you're doing you can just fill that in okay, gotta deselect that okay so now you just hide this layer here which was your original text layer and there you go you're left with that drop shadow layer right there um, I think it's a pretty cool effect. I mean, it's kind of difficult to do that any other way than what I showed, but... Alright, well, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed. 